Ranger 374 coming to you from the Bass Cave. I know it's been a long time. Um, got some personal issues. I have an immediate family member in the hospital for five weeks now. So, running around, haven't even fished. Um, end of the season for my club, so didn't do a uh, squat. Can't go, you know, can't catch them if you don't go. So, anyway, hope everybody's doing good out there. Finally getting to the Bagley Baits um, treasure chest unboxing is what I'm going to call it. Um, let me know what you think. Um, not going to spend too much time here because we're going to have to dig through this box. But anyway, um, hope you're all catching them. Let me know what you're doing. I'm still going down to Gaston in the fall, October, so I'm uh, not going to miss that one. But anyway... Um, let me know what you're doing and let me know what you think about this box. Um, yeah, it's pretty special. Um, so check it out and we'll see. All right, uh, let's go check her out. See ya. Okay, so here we go. This is the box that I've gotten from my father um, after he passed away. But anyway, um, it's not the, uh, in the best shape. I think it's been sitting since the 80s. Probably in a fishing room. But it's got a crack in the top of it. And I think that actually helped me. Because it kept, it kept these uh, baits con you know, controlled a little bit. This is the name of the box. Um, it's by EasyCo. If anybody can uh, tell me about this box, let me know. Because I could not find nothing on it. Um, I don't know. I looked up everything I could on it and can't find nothing. Anyhow, it's a two-tier box, so, so let's go. Let's open it up. Hopefully I'll knock these lighting. Sorry about the lighting if it's not good, but doing the best I can. That is what I opened up to. Um, you can see it's loaded. Um, there's a couple of squares that are not Bagley's. But I will take them out and replace them with extra Bagley's that I have. But this is what I opened up to and went, oh boy, this looks interesting. Anyhow, like I said, it was a two-tier. Um, the pop top comes off, and that was underneath. There were approximately 200 spinner baits in here, and I think I salvaged 150 of them. Replace skirts, uh, clean the blades. Um, I can get into that later if somebody wants to see some spinner baits, but I've got all kinds of the Okie Bugs, the Stan Sloans, um, all kinds of baits. Um, too many to get into, but like I said, I probably salvaged 150 out of 200 and kept the rest for parts. But get a closer view kind of what I had um, I don't even know how to go about this there are just so many baits in here um, and they are primarily 90% brass of the Bagley's and okay here's one I want someone to look at and tell me I'll pull it out it's a bomber but look at what has happened to these lips on the bombers they are absolutely like tannic brown now and this used to be a silver you know a silver shad bomber 6a or yeah I assume that's a 6a but the colors even the clear on the side of the bomber have turned to tannic color now I'm assuming this is just from sitting and I don't know if that's moisture humidity whatever but there's five of those in here and they all have they all have the same color on their lips and they are I'll put it back up here um, but that's that was them Bagley's I'm, I'm just gonna pop through some somebody wants to see see me take most of them out I will but um, you know this 
this is what you're dealing with. This was the perch one, I assume. It's a weighted, weighted lip on it. Um, you know, perfect condition. I think that's a perch. I assume that's a perch. But, you know, try to get the hook out of the way. But, you know, brass hangers, you know, front, back everything I'm gonna leave some of these out and there's like as you can see there's like four of them in that in that one square and we got you know I think everybody's probably got one of these in their Bagley's collection but it's the crappy it's got the weighted lip on it it's probably a little more a little more valuable but it's got the brass hangers on it you know every like I said, 90% of these are brass. Um, there's a few in here that aren't. But um, I got the bluegill. I don't think the bluegill is as popular, but being brass, it's probably probably a little more popular. And there's a couple sizes of those. There's crappies, bluegills. Um, yeah, there's another bluegill in here. Put him back, but. Uh, Shoot, man, there's just, there's just so many. There's more bluegill in this one. In there. Yeah, they're all bluegill. The little bluegill. Um, bigger bluegill in there. Yep, there's bigger bluegill in that one. See, you don't, you don't need to see those. Um, these are kind of cool. I like this one. I think that's a BB2. It's got a, it's got a hooker in the side of it, so it's, it's been fished probably. But other than that, I mean, brass hangers, that side, you know, pretty perfect looking. So let this thing focus a little bit. But, you know, I just got, you know, there's, there's black and chartreuse ones. Now this lip's also turning, if you can see it. It's got a brown edge on it. But... Black and chartreuse, one of my favorite colors. And the BB1, I assume. Um, brass hangers. Just, you know, just an awesome amount of stuff. You know, they're all pretty much, pretty much perfect. Still, I don't think most, 90% of these haven't been fished. 99 probably. And, you know, you got the black shad. I think it's black shad same kind of bait sorry if this uh, lighting's not doing too well but it's kind of hard this is I'm in I'm in the uh, bass cave 2 right now which isn't as lit up but brass hangers you know try not to make this like a you know 30 minute video but I'm just going to go through some Here's another one. I think that's a BB3, and it's the same as same as that one. Brass hangers, you know, perfect condition, square bill. And this is how I pulled them out. I didn't clean nothing up. I didn't do a thing to these baits. So, you know, I assume they have just been actually sitting still. Here's another one, a little different. I like this one. I forgot what they call it, but it's kind of got that olive back to it. It's got the weight on it. Got the weight in the lip. You know, brass hangers. You know, perfect bait. Um, there ain't a mark on this bait. Looks like it just came out of the package in 1970 or, you know, early 80s. But there's crawdads in here. Um, they're not as exciting. This one's pretty nice. I don't know the exact exact name of this one, but you know, color I'm not named, but you know, another another brass hanger. Just just crazy. When I opened this box up, and this is the honest truth, I pulled one bait out of it. And looked at the rest and I closed it back up and I went 
Yep, put this in the put this in the truck. Cause I'll get into it later, but all kinds of stuff. The, the little shads, blue and chrome ones, or yeah, blue chrome chartreuse I assume. Uh, the minnows, There's minnows on this side, um, and just there's just all kinds of stuff. I mean, if I'd pull everyone out, that's one of my favorites there. You know, all brass hangers, perfect condition. Um, oh, there's a bonus back here. He was my pop was sponsored by Mans too, so, and I've got a lot of his Mans baits. I guess that's sort of little rattle trap. Um, like I said, I'll replace, I'll take all the other, and there's more bombers in here. There's some cool bombers, some little ones. I think that's four, that's a bomber four or something, a little shallow one. And there's another lip, you know, pure brown on a bomber. That black and chartreuse, I don't know, I might have, might have to throw one of these. Because, it's like I said, my favorite color, and there's three of them in there. They all got that brown lip, though. Somebody let me know what's up with that brown lip. Um, here's another one. I think that's one of them goldfish colors. I ain't sure. Let me know if that's a goldfish. I think that's one of them. But a little square lip. You know, brass hangers, all of them mostly. Baits are perfect. I have not cleaned one or anything. I got more black and chartreuse back here. Look like killer B twos. Go to the far back. And looks like killer B ones. Shout now this one isn't I have three of these in there and this one isn't brass hanger, so this was probably in the eighties, something like that. I've actually got a few of them on my own, but um, got like three of them back here, so I ain't walking around the back because uh, there's two of these. They're hung up. Put these out there. Killer B twos. They got the weight on them. Uh, I think that's a deep diving killer B. But anyway, I think that's another one of them goldfish. I ain't sure. It's got the weighted lip on it. Perfect condition, brass hangers, and I think this one's gray shad. Same kind of deal. I know the lighting stinks in this place, but anyway. Another one. Weighted lip. Perfect condition. And go to the other side there. What else I got? Uh, here's the lure. I don't know what these are. Somebody's got to let me know what these are. If I can get them out. I can't get them out. Can't get them out. Okay. I'm hoping to get one of these out. Kind of jammed up in there for some reason. Okay, what are these? Here's the question of the day. Or not this one. That one's a Bagley. Where are them other ones at? I'm going to find them because... I don't know what they are, and I, I like knowing what things are. Alright, this is them. Um, what are these? Somebody let me know what these are. It's like a gold colored. Of course, the lips turn brown, like the bombers did. And there's two different sizes one the deeper, one shorter. What are these baits? Somebody let me know. They don't look. I don't, definitely don't think they're Bagley's, but they got some kind of button on the lip. And they don't have brass hardware. They got the Bagley eyes, but. I don't know. Strike King or something back then? I don't know. They feel like balsa. Somebody let me know what these are. Somebody's out there watching. Sorry, Joseph. No frogs in this box from what I see. So. All hard baits. Somebody let me know. See the bottom of this lip? Something's weird with it. 
guess that's where they screwed the eye in. Alright, somebody let me know what them two baits are. They're two different sizes. Definitely, I don't think they're a bagley. Anyhow, this video's getting along. Now this one's a, it's a oldie but a goodie, but it's got a crack in the side of it. Still got brass hangers. I guess the white shad. It's got a crack, but when you're that old, you're an original Bagley's. Imagine this is one of the unprimed balsa bait ones where they tended to crack. But I ain't gonna touch it, it's cracked. It's just gonna hang in a box for my lifetime. Um, that's the general overview. I mean, there's there's a lot of baits in here and this one's more current it's about one of the only other ones without a that's not brass but you know it's a Bagley's it's actually got it you know on the lip of this one but newer one but all good um, you can see it's pretty cool to open up uh, if anybody wants to see something else that I ain't pulling out, but there's like a bunch bunch to pull out. Um, you know, the crawdads that I'm... That's not a... That's a man's crawdad. Okay, here's another man's bait. Let's see, there's a couple... A couple squares in here that aren't... Aren't Bagley's. That one only fooled me because it's sitting next to the Bagley's crawdads. which are all brass hanger crawdads and really old so anyhow that's an old Bagley's crawdad and there's probably oh boy there's I think there's eight crawdads in here yup there's eight it has the little guys too they're back there that's the little ones all brass hangers crawdad all right, I don't want to want this video to be an hour, so geez, I could have live streamed this if somebody would watch. Um, anyhow, this is it. It's the Bagley's treasure box or treasure chest, is what I'm calling it. Tell me what you think. Do you like it? Anything you'd want? Um, it's a pretty awesome box, that's all I can say. Um, I'm proud to have it. You know, I'm glad Dad collected them and didn't beat them all up and waste them and all that stuff. So, hope everybody's safe and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And I got updates coming on the Skeeter and um, the Ranger actually too. So, I got a lot of stuff going on besides, you know, I got somebody in the hospital. So, um, I'll do what I can, but still working on stuff and you know trying to keep trying to keep my mind occupied basically but let me know what you think of this box you know you think it's pretty cool anything you like let me know about them brown lips and you know stuff on on those baits and especially these two I have no clue what they are let me know what they are besides that Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let's have a great fall. It's about crankbait time for me, so I'm hoping to get out at least once before Lake Gaston. Okie doke, it's Ranger 374.